Hello everyone, my name is Dio Morales, host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we are hanging out here, waiting for our final to resume, or to resume, to begin. Um, we have a two-hour time limit on this one. Uh, this is Canada v. Canada. I'm waiting for my co-host, Marcel Manzano, to join me here. Uh, and this is the final, as it does say, on the bottom left-hand corner, in bold letters. <laughs> um... We're here in the final. Um, both these gentlemen have played great. Um, one thing I do like to do, um, actually with my uh, fever dreaming over here, I forgot to do it uh, all today. Let's go ahead and give me a one if you think Eric Zhang is going to pull out the championship, or a two if you think Tristan's harpoon missiles will bring him to victory. Um, what do you guys think? One for Eric, two for Tristan. Let's get those votes in now. They're both Canadian. I know Canada's a big, big country, but I think uh, they, they're both Toronto area. Oh, uh, here come the votes. Here they come. Two, one, two, 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 one, two, two. Oh yeah! All right. Looks like Tristan's getting most of the love here. No, you both beat me, so both of you. Right, sorry. Gumboats for the win, according to J.D. Nelson. Yeah, we're getting a lot of love here for uh, for the gumboats. Do we have the same check? Yep. Okay. Lucky. In case. No. Permit it. Yep. 
All right, say hello to the people, Marcel. Hello to the people, Marcel. <laughs> so, yes, uh, on this table, we have uh, a scum list. We have five different ships. It's going to be it's gonna be a fun time. Six different ships. Well, Zeb's not out there yet. In well, spirit. if it goes well, if Tristan has his way, he will be out there and out there soon. This is very true. Um so he has Nim offset here. Let's go ahead and go ahead and break down uh, break down Tristan's list since you got to see it firsthand. Well, I got to see both firsthand, but let's see with Tristan's list. So Tristan is running um, uh, an Alpha Strike, what essentially turns into a PS10 Alpha Strike. He's running uh, harpoon missiles on Nim, Tarani, and Justero. Yes, yeah, Justero. I noticed I made a mistake there. Yep. And with Nim and Justero's got. Um, VI for pilot skill 10 and Justero is uh, at pilot skill 4 with a tiny mine I mean with um, that uh, dead eye and his Nim is lean without a turret so he's running no turret he's running extra munitions for double harpoon as well as double um, thermal detonator so he actually opted for the thermals instead of the the everlasting the bomb, bomb generator. generator yeah yep and that's really the list um kind of ships on all, all of them and munitions fail safe which i don't think will be necessary in this list no it's gonna hit that's gonna hit with zero agility it's yeah. gonna hit for sure yeah um you know they're lined up here for what looks like a joust do you think this is gonna how we have a 120 minute clock how many minutes do you think we're actually gonna use um I think it's probably going to be like a 30 minute, 35 minute match, maybe. Okay. Just because uh, the timer with uh, one agility ships on one end and a ridiculous alpha strike on the other, um, the timer is going to count out really fast here. So it's it's really going to be uh, does Tristan get to trigger all of his his abilities early on? All right. So. Seeing this hard two immediately from Eric, you know what this tells me? They're actually going to play. For a little bit. At least for a little bit. Uh, they did ride together here uh, to the Michigan Regional down mm -hmm. from Canada. And uh, seeing this hard turn boost, is, it, at least my inkling is that, you know, Eric is actually going to play. Try. He's actually going to try. Um, yep. Yep. As he should. Right. As you should. We can figure out all the world tickets and all that later. Um, you know, people want to see... Want to see a good match. Want to see a good match. They want to see a well-played match. Oh, wow. You can hear that all the way over here. All right. Four straight from Nim. Ooh. See, I... I he was trying to see if he came at him, he would be able to have multiple shots. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be a stressful maneuver. Oh, wait. No, I didn't. Yeah. Sorry. I don't think we're going to need it, but. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they started late. Okay. It, uh, it, that's it, fine. Yeah. Uh, they, they're, they were asking about the timer, but. Um, we'll go ahead and adjust it to 115. How about that? Yeah, and that's, and that's it'll be pretty close. Yeah, and even even with that, whoops. There we go. <laughs> they came in. <laughs> so they're using our timer as the official timer. No. Oh, because okay, maybe maybe not. So uh, yeah, here we go. Um, and I assume there's going to be a two turn here as well. Mm -hmm. Now the problem here for Eric is that if he really wants to run fast. Did he bump? Yeah, he did bump. That if he really wants to run fast, he can't. Uh, he opted for R3A2 so he doesn't get the boost and the repositioning. So he can only run for a little bit. Uh, my guess here is that he's going to either one soft the NIM and try to barrel to stay out of range. Doesn't mm -hmm. want to have only one 
a one-on-one situation right and go fast with the other two to try to um i mean really you need three guns on target in order to make all the magic work here i wonder if eric here is going to be um setting up one of these k turn and come back at you yeah k turn come back at you or because if Tristan can catch him, like you were saying, at range three with the missiles, um, that can hurt Eric quite a bit. Um, but setting up those turns where you can get a block in mm-hmm. and like TLT another one, like that, when you see ghost players do that, that really can swing a game pretty hard. Yeah, I think um, Tristan set, set, put himself <coughs> Tristan put himself in a little bit of a tough spot here with just Daryl. The he wants to do the three bank. To keep track with with a gun pointed at at um Fen, but it's going to be pretty close to that rock with a three. I'm not very good with the screen, but it looks like it'll be close to that rock. Yeah, that three bank would would be close. We might just see two turns. We and might just see two he turns. He is coming in aggressive. Yeah, I mean more aggressive than unless he boosts. Yeah, I mean if you boost. Well, he doesn't have to boost yet. You know, oh, because Nim can PS pass. 11 Nim, yeah. yep. I mean, PS11 Nim. PS11 Fen. Mm-hmm. All right, so he's going slow. So it's 4-2 there. And I'm curious to see how aggressive Nim is here. I, I, I would hope he's not. But, I mean, I would hope that... I would not. That That's probably the best way to put it. I would not be that aggressive. And it looks like he is not being that aggressive. Um, I'm just not, surprised not seeing the two-turn out of out of Justero. Um, he, did, what did he end up doing? Just he, he went too forward. Oh, that's it? Now that That is very... Maybe Justero's hunting down Fen. Even then, I would have gone with the four. If I'm going to go forward, I would have gone with the four forward to... Target lock's in. Oh, I'm not sure I like that for him. Cause he will he's going to take four damage. He's going to take four damage, and on top of that, he will... He does not have a focus for the, for the jam. Unless he saves it for a turn. Yeah, that's... <laughs> You're right. There's no focus on the Sundry Jammer. So the only thing you hope for is um, rolling three hits and then use guidance chips on the one that gets jammed. All right. Fen moving up. He's in definitely in coordinate range. We'll see what he chooses to do. He could boost away if he wants to get out of the harpoon range. But I think with Sensor Jammer, Evade Token... And uh, he should be fine. Honestly. Yeah, I would. I would actually purposely not. There you yeah, go. Yeah, he focuses. He's, he's, he's forcing could. Tristan to either like, all right, you either shoot your missile through all these tokens, or you just waste and, the primary. And, yep. And he will get the one uh, rock roll. Um, and again, it's it's hard to be in Tristan. Tristan has flown this list very well. It's only lost one match to this point. And he's going for it. He's good. So that, that's the whole that's point. That's ballsy. Do you trust your... You gotta, but you he's got extra munition, nice. so he's... I think he's just really wanting to say, hey, here's my opportunity. I'm going to put some dice on him. And I'm going to start the damage. Is it obstructed? No. It is not obstructed. So he... And that's where the jam comes in. Reroll the other two. Yeah, and that one cannot be rerolled. He's looking for two hits here. He's looking for two hits and one crit. Got so. his chips. Yeah, so it's only two shields. Yep, because of the uh, evade the evade token. token. Assuming that he spends it, which I'm assuming he will. Uh, yes. There's no reason not to. And that's um, that's tough. You know, uh, that's one of those situations where you got your target lock. You're probably going to absorb four damage. And the next one, and then uh, just there was so out of it right now without any repositioning he's it's going to take him a few turns to get guns on target he's in a really awkward position yeah the ghost is harpooned he's going to focus he's which to is going to be automatic yep 
And then on the second one, he will maul, and here comes the guarantees. Yep, three. Like I said, Nim's gonna take four damage just turn. Oh yeah, yeah. There's no question about it. Maybe that's why. That's why he shot the harpoon because he's yeah. like, I'm, gonna, I'm only gonna live for two turns anyway. Well, there you go. He'll reroll one, and that's, Ahead. that's yep. a hit. Another shield gone. And then reroll again, and another hit. Oh, wait, actually, wait. We might actually get an evade here. Hey, 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 hey. Nannies, hey, nannies, hey. nannies. Hey, 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 there it oh, is. Okay. So, um. He only, he only lost three shields. Only three shields. Uh, eh. That's significant, though. That is significant, because now, uh, well, it takes three rounds of fire, but if he can do a, th so it does a couple things here. Now, now he's harpooned. I'm, I'm wondering, the ghost has so many different options here. To get into range and to do uh, uh, so many different things. I so think he's going to bring him into range one. I, I, that's what I would do as well. Yeah. So the question is, do you say, okay, I scared the ghost. Yep. So now I'm just going to do one forward soft with both guys. Bring a three hard turn from... Uh, just arrow. Just arrow. And just unload on Fen. Say... All guns on fit. Ah, okay. I can see that. Because use this as a, as a scare tactic. Saying, hey, ghost, you know, two down, next crit goes in. Uh, it's another auto damage. We're going to start working you then in and just kind of uh, scare him a little bit to, to really put some hurt on Finn. That's probably what I would do. Just oh, And the main reason being because... Uh, Justero is just so far away from from the game. Yeah, he's point. super out out of the fight. Yeah, he, I still don't like. Uh, I'd if be if curious. You're turn in, just do a one soft in. Yeah, I mean if. Yeah, I, I mean there's really no way that that lane was going to be used at any point. I mean he had already fully committed to to the other side. Maybe he just full disengages here, tries to come around, go fast. We did see in the last match, Eric was willing to separate his Fen and Ghost and bring them back together. He did he did a really good job of that. Let's see if we have a double Fen Lothal regional sweep this weekend. Or if the Scum Jank. Would you consider Nim Scum Jank? No. He's, he's Scum Meta. He's, so he's very good. Yeah, and, and also, let's not forget, there is the five forward trajectory. Yep. That, um, that, that, that'll that come, which... And he does have genius, and he has extra munitions, so he can do it at least once. He can do it twice if he wants to. Well, he's got thermal, so he can... Do it twice. He's got extra... Like, you lose the well, extra Well, he's only munition. doing twice, even if he doesn't use genius. Right. Because of that. But, um... Yeah, what I'm saying is with that thermal, it shuts off Fen. So now you can take advantage of those focuses. That's why, um, you know, opt in for, for that. So it looks like we're waiting on whose dial? Looks like we're waiting for uh, the, Kolda? The Kimojila. It looks like the Kimojila dial is... Um, there we go. I mean, it's a one forward, right? Yeah, or one bank. One forward, one uh, well, one forward, so you can get, and he's he's out. He's like, and, I'm done. And and that actually, I think, is in no, one two. Oh, one, one. Tristan's favor because now he he knows where Fen is headed, and he knows because he can boost out of that. Yep. That um, the three hard has to be the three hard. Oh, I am so intrigued by this. I don't. I don't understand the Justero Planets. playing right now. Yeah, that is. Um, you need to get that gun. He's he not, does. He's not fast enough. Once again, yeah, you need to get that. That needed to be a three hard. There was nothing else. To 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 to. to also, I'm confused by the focus. He dropped down the focus. Why not attempt the target lock? I know that you have Dead Eye. Yeah, but, but take you take the target lock just so you can have it. And he did not. Oh, I I I think Tristan is playing nervous. Um. I mean, I, I I hate to say it, but I think Tristan he missed the f forward trajectory. Yep, and that will hit. 
Uh, it may not hit the ghost, but it will hit. Um, he's, he's, and he's, he's doing take, yeah. taking the target lock. He's but just gonna he he's gonna fire the two harpoons and and be happy with it. Yeah. Um, well, we'll see how it plays out, but I, I'm not so. Yeah, I'm not so sold on this. Um, on this, yeah, target. So he's attempting the target lock to uh, to Fen. Looks like it's just out. You have to barrel roll here. I mean, there is no reason not to get a shot. You need to barrel roll f as forward as possible to guarantee that you're going to get some type of shot. The tempting lock on the ghost looks like that's out too. Let's see if he barrels forward. He's he he he's not gonna win when it's one ship shooting one ship. Yep. He needs to get all three ships pointed. Um. And that thermal would have landed. I, I, there's. I think I, it would have hit Fen no matter what. Yeah, yeah for sure. The only thing he the only way it doesn't is if he does it too hard to the right in which case he is pinning himself and making himself predictable the following round so he does go with the barrel roll as forward as possible i think it'll just get him range fighter three. does not have a three hard um then do a three soft but get yourself closer uh yeah uh mn merc was saying that they don't have a three hard turn oh sad uh but even even then actually you know proved this wrong actually that two hard turn he is um, saying, I'll be predictable, but... So, yeah, he, like I said, he was he's willing to separate them. Um, but he's close enough for coordinate still. Which I, I... I do not coordinate here. I might coordinate a focus. Let's see. But I actually want him to shoot me. Oh, that he is He takes the target lock. He so wants to guarantee the four damage. Oh, from the... Um, So here's F Fen. Okay, this is interesting. Yep. So they're having some type of discussion. We'll listen in on our side. All right. So Fen is just out. <coughs> okay. So, on the bright side, he's got he's got to turn into the right right here, right? The ghost. Yeah, because turning <laughs> to the left will eat. Uh, actually, uh, no, he's got he's yeah, got because the thermal doesn't do that much. I was just saying for thermal. Yeah, I mean he probably definitely is going to. Uh, so that's he the second should one. genius in the following turn. But well, let's see what this harpoon missile does. Well, I don't see, uh, you, you. Well, you can't genius. Shoot after moving. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. That that got. Oh, you see, and now he's gonna jam one, and he's got to re-roll. Yep. Oh, I, I, that sensor jammer is such a beast. Oh, well, he there it is. All four, you so you guidance chips that one to a crit. One, yeah. Gets an evade, so he'd be taking one hole damage. One hole and three more shields. Yep. No. So what I don't get is why not shoot with a Kimojila first to burn the focus. Hopefully you get something. I mean burn the evade. Hope you get something. And if you land that guy in a strip crit to the hull. Uh, uh, that you know that be, that would be a misplacer. <laughs> like the, he should have done it that way. You're yeah, right. Yeah, because that way uh, because you guarantee an equip with a guidance chip. So you well, want. you know what? You can't get a, he can't spend the evade because he's inside the bullseye firing arc. Hmm? He couldn't have spent the evade anyway because he's inside the bullseye yeah, firing arc. Yeah, but it's arc. after you shoot. After you shoot. No, the, like when you're in the bullseye, you can't even spend. That's just like the the effect of the bullseye. Not. No, I know, but Tarani's ability. I'm not talking about the ability though. No, you 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 can and you have to. Oh, double crits. No jammer on this one. Uh, I have no idea what it was. It was it was a blank. Okay, okay blank. Okay, so, so two crits. Um, shield and a crit. Here it comes. And that actually doesn't that trigger the second it, harpoon? It does. So harpoon. F so 
So let's see if he adds that, because that, um, that would be a missed. You have your phone on you? Yeah. Damage sensor. Nate on it. Yep. Oh, did, damn. You should did, watch your hands. Did that trigger the second harpoon? Oh, uh, yeah. So now, so the so it's four damage. Uh, there's two cool. damage cards on the ghost. Well, the wait second a second. They hold on. They're discussing it right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, another face down. He's talking about the second harpoon now. Face down. You know what though? They did that out of order. They should have done the harpoon first, and then the crit. Yes. Because yeah. that damage sensor ray actually hurts the ghost a lot. That's the hard turns. That's that's actions. Oh, no actions? No actions, yeah. No evade, no boost. Yeah, that was done incorrectly. And damage engine. Wait, where's the third card? I only see one, two, three cards out there. There's three cards total, so he's a seven hole. Oh, that just there will be so out. It's hurting my soul. And even with that three, three soft, that other, the follow-up three so- soft would get him between those two rocks. Now, yep, he's gonna have a while to catch up. How do you roll two? Range three. Oh, that was he pri- rolled was the primary. primary. Yeah. Two shields so there. Hit- oh, shields. Okay, he's not at hull yet. Now here comes the end of round TLT yep. for what we assume will be another two damage. We roll one because uh, why not? And that's three. So that's a guarantee. Guaranteed. And then. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll watch we'll watch for the lock here in a minute. Just wait one so moment. So now I think you almost have to. Actually, do you have to turn right? You can't. I'm gonna go remind them here right now. Give me one moment. Okay. Remind them what? They, Sorry. Um, they should that target lock should not be there because they spent it. True. And they asked us to to, to tell them if something like that. Miss triggers. Yeah. Well, not miss triggers, but oh, missed not missed guaranteed yeah. things. Okay. All right. So um. Yeah. So it looks like this. Is, is a game. Uh, he's got two rounds of fire if everything triggers to kill uh, the Kimojila. He, in the next round of fire, he sh- assume, presumably sh- should be able to get Captain Nim um, with what, what is essentially auto damage from those uh, quad TLTs. Uh, the question is how fast can he get Destero into play? Um, critical. To get him in faster. Uh, again, I played both of these players. My I lost to Eric in round five, and then I lost to Tristan in the top eight. And I can tell <laughs> you, just from playing both players, that um, Tristan is definitely nervous. He played hey, against that- me. He was so nervous, and he was missing. Drop, he forgot to yeah. drop bombs a few times, and he's like, "Oh my god, I forgot to drop bombs!" Like, well, yeah, mistakes happen. Yeah. It's funny though. There are there totally are three judges sitting around the table, and they all missed the target okay. lock. <laughs> so uh, no, I was just saying that uh, after playing both guys, just Tristan is so nervous to be be here. Yep, and and be at 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 this this stage of the competition. Um, so I'm just wondering if that just Darren move is really just nerves, because it's, it's still baffling. He's he, we're he's so far we're out of the fight. rounds of the fire. He, he he's he's probably another two rounds before getting his first shot off. Yeah, yep. Because uh, he's gonna three soft here. And uh, and the fact that he's he was just Sarah was on the outside. He's your slowest ship out of all the ones that you have here because he has no repositioning. He's no repositioning. Yeah, he can. I mean, even the. The Kimojila, which only goes three speed, uh, you know, that three soft bank plus barrel roll covers a lot of ground. Yeah, it does. Uh, versus, uh, you know, as, as one of the listeners said, or one of the viewers said, you don't even have a three turn with them. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so we'll see. I, it's, it's definitely not over, not even close to being over. It's, 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 a, it's a live match. 
Uh, yeah, we got a lot of time left on the clock. There's a lot of time, but there's also uh, seven hall. Uh, you you have to assume the very next t- shot. You know the chemo Gila has has that harpoon. Will trigger the harpoon ability. Will have yep. target lock rerolls. There is very little that Eric can do at this point to put a a dial. I mean, uh, uh, an arc on the Kimojila. Yep. The Kimojila does three straight, you know, because... Um, There's no boost anymore. There is no boost. If he goes one forward, then he is putting himself in dangerous position. Um, you know, the best that he can do is probably a one soft to the left and try to try to prevent just arrow from using a focus token at this point, but... Looks like he is going. Yeah, he's he's making the right turn. And which to me make makes sense. I mean, he has to roll for action damage up, sensor. And nothing. And then where's Palpatine when you need it? <laughs> <laughs> Tarani. All right, well, at least with Eric turning that way, Jostero will be getting a shot sooner than he would have otherwise. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't do a 4 4. No, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. But um, yeah, it's just um, if, if you do the three. Slu- three Take a target stuff. lock. Take a target lock. Do not focus. Oh my goodness. No focus. What? You- no focus. Tristan, target lock. Fen's not going to be in range anymore. He will be out of range. And even if he is, you even- have that eye. Right. I mean, you, even if he is, you, you use, right. use his target lock. And mathema- of- mathematically, math people, I'm pretty sure this is correct, right? Target lock and focus, net the same net the same results. On uh, no. Yes. No, not yes. in this case. Yes, totally. It, they typically would, but yeah. when you have guidance chips, it doesn't. It's, a, it it's the same. The same. No. It's exactly the same. No. Yes, it is. Stop arguing with me. Hey, non-Ron Con, tell me I'm right. I know I'm right. Focus chips and target lock chips equal the same. This is the same. But we do agree that he should have taken the target lock here. Either right. way. Well, he's taking the target lock here. Dion is correct. Thank you. Well, whoever is non Roncon. I was already Ron-Con. looking before you asked me. <laughs> um, I use Ryan Farmer math, so I am correct. <laughs> In my mind. So I, I assume right here we're going to see a either a one soft. Wait, did he advance sensor or something? What did he do? Oh, no, he's, he's marking him. <laughs> yeah. Same percentage outcome. Okay. Uh, whoever you are, nobody really asked you, but... Uh, no, I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm toying. Uh, so that's interesting. It that's, looks like he cut... Co- Travis Johnson. Yeah, Travis. Yeah. Well, they, they heard you because he said it's Travis Johnson. I know. I, 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 they, they know that it's Travis Johnson. Well, well, then, then I take back. I was gonna apologize for my rude. Be- what? What is this man doing? He's trying not to get TLT'd. Uh, uh, okay. Um. So, I, I I I assume it's either gonna be a two turn or a one soft bank. I mean, those are really the the moves here, and uh, one soft, which is better because it keeps him out of. Well, he did oh. it too. Oh. I think he's still out of range. Um, so you may want to coordinate. You can't take the same action twice. You can't roll. No. Can, you, can you roll no, again? No, it's the same action. Can't do it. Okay, so there's no option. Okay. And not to mention that he has a hot shot co pilot on Fen Rao. Why are you doing Deadeye? You just you have to try to get the Tarlock. Yep, for sure. I enjoy how Eric put himself in a corner. <laughs> Not con, wrong con, fun con. Uh, yeah, that is interesting that he put himself in a corner, but in retrospect, it was the right call. Or else he would be at... Um, I don't know. I mean, we, th- there is no retrospect yet. We're watching right now. No, the reason I'm saying that, going the other way, without a boost action, without anything else, he would be... Nim would have been in the bubble. Anyone. True. Yeah. So and Nim would have focused. 
Harpoon missiles from Justero. Focus chips. Oh. Focus. Hit. Crit. Two hits, two crits. Here it comes. Um, he gets two dice. With a focus. Right. Boom. Hit crit. But it, it still puts uh, harpoon condition on both. at this. And he does take a crit. Let's, we'll see what it is here. Stun pilot. If you bump, you take damage. Oh, and it is hard for him not to bump right here. Yeah. Yeah, th he put himself in a bit of a difficult situation. I, uh, the other one would have been a little bit tough as well because of the... We'll go ahead and, and drop that on the the yeah. overlay there. You can see what that is. After you execute a maneuver, if you are touching another ship or overlapping an obstacle, suffer one damage. Mm-hmm. And yes, to the, I can't read your name, the log dump where we are. <laughs> Hotshot only matters if you have arc, but that's Co saying correct. that Tristan is mind reading, saying it would be a turn. Because a one soft would have had arc. Yeah. You know, he would he would have had arc with a one soft. Exactly. Uh, and why leave that up to chance? Yeah. If, you're, yeah. Uh, if your intention is to shoot the harpoon. Then, target lock, yeah. Then the target lock is the way to go. Carnivorous Corvinus. Oh. And that is that Justero had an opportunity to have a target. Uh, again, it worked out, right? It worked he, out, yeah. He, yeah I it mean, worked it out, worked but out, he, he had but an opportunity even, even earlier to have the target lock. Yeah, yeah. Strategically, okay. it was technically the wrong choice. It worked out, but... Yeah, I mean... St what is it? Stun pilot. All right, thank you. Yep. But yeah, I mean... You can make. Uh, they're not bad choices. They're just not the most. The correct. The efficient the choices. Efficient. There you go. Yeah, I mean, there there are other choices that will net you a better uh, potential outcome. Yep. Oh my God! I'm trying to sound all proper. <laughs> so Fen here is going to try to not. Um, not take any damage. Yeah. One thing uh, about Stun Pilot that we I do have to mention because it came up through in one of my games uh, this weekend that I hadn't noticed is if you go through a rock and don't end on it, you don't take the damage from Stun Pilot. Mm -hmm. Because it, it says on there, after executing the maneuver, and if you finish not on it, then you're fine. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, you still have to roll for the damage, but... yeah. Less damage. Uh, yeah, taking the focus does give you the use. <laughs> there, let me rephrase that. Taking the focus doesn't give you the option to use it defensively. It forces you to use it defensively. Co correct. Arc, because of hot shot co pilot. Um, and. I'm just gonna go on uh, on a limb here and, and guess that uh, Tristan's choice there would have been. Uh, yeah, I took a few damage, but you know what? I need to get this yeah this damage into into Fen. Um, so damage sensor array did not clear. Oh, this. Okay. Three forward. So let's go ahead and take the harpoon missile off yeah. just there because it is gone. Yeah, it is gone and and. Okay, that's it. So he's going to have arc on the ghost here. And then he can... Uh, yeah. And this... M so now he took a target lock already as an action. Who? The community lock. He's already got a target lock. He's got a lock fan. out there already? Okay. Yeah, he's got a lock. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. Yeah, see, he's carrying it over. It's not fun. Now, the question is... Does he switch the target lock? And he is not. And then, to turn here. I do find it interesting that he's not going at the ghost, especially since the PS11 boost thing is broken. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's not working right now. You can't coordinate to the ghost. Yeah, you can the, just... The right choice is just, just, to, just to nail the ghost, just right? Just point at him, yeah. Even though... Wait. Yes, but also... 
he may not be able to boost as the first action, but if he clears it through his action, and then Fen can still coordinate that. But you 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 see that the ghost didn't clear it. Oh yeah, because the ghost moved first. Yep. So let's see what he does here. So three bank. So Fen will more than likely get. Get lit up right here for the target lock focus shot. Turn up. Sorry about that. <coughs> Coughing my head off over here. Um, so, Eric has this ghost in the corner right now. Um, well, he's got the target lock focus ready to shoot at. Yeah, he's, he's going to get Fen for sure. Fen is in the bullseye firing arc, so focus does not help him. Yeah, and it he looks range one for... Trigger, maybe triggering triggering the bonus damage on on the ghost which would then trigger Gestero's ability yep. to shoot the ghost so the Gestero would begin double shots at the ghost so he's attempting to shoot at range 2 at the Kimojila he will spend this on offense oh, if he yeah, can. Bump edges. Judge. <laughs> There's three of them right there. That was that was a bump. <laughs> he's like, yeah, there you go. He's putting them back. I can play. That awesome shirt thing is super cool. Mm -hmm. He, was, I, I didn't see it when I played against him. He was wearing a sweater. You played against Paul. I mean Andrew. Tri uh, Tristan. Or was that Andrew? That was Andrew. Okay, because yeah. I was like, that, that sure did not look like what Tristan was using. Let's see, range. Three. I don't, I don't think so. I think there was wiggle in there. I felt like they wiggled it just a little bit. <laughs> well, what's this chat saying? Bullseye harpoon. Yep, that's... All right, uh, range three. Here we go. Now, the question is, do you stress them? Why not? Because you're probably going to do a two-something here. Hit crit. So he chose not to stress them. Ho, 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 ho. Fen Rao doing some damage, doing some work. Hit. A hit and a crit. Blinded, Blinded pilot. Pilot. Oh, Strong. Well, I mean, it doesn't super matter this turn because it doesn't think he had arc anyway, so it's getting flipped. If we saw that one, thank you so much. Yeah, that's what I was. I was saying the same thing to to Catherine. Why not stress? I mean, same thing as Catherine. Um, yeah, you got R three A two stress. Yep, uh, he, he missed the trigger. You, you don't have arc on the Kimojila, so you're not going to prevent the Kimojila from killing you. Um, so. Go for it. Here comes Harpoon Missiles into Fen. Four dice. He's got target off focus. He'll just go ahead and spend that focus plus guidance chips. And Fen does still get two dice. He's dead no matter where. Yep. Fen is off the table. Whoa. Let's see how many. One. Yeah, there you go. Hit, 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 crit. Hmm. Extra dead. Doesn't even matter. All right, so now we basically have the Lothal plus 
Zeb left to uh, well, to do the work here. Yeah, and wait, it triggers the harpoon ability. Yep, because he does die. Is it range one? Looks like it. Or at least it's close. Oh, and Justero does get a shot. Yep, there's the harpoon. Harpoon triggers. So uh, Justero's going to get his first shot. Justero's like, it's my time. All these triggers here. Yes, yeah, splash damage. He took. The they just did it. Yeah. He's so they have a delay, so they haven't seen it yet. Okay. Yep. It mm. won't work. I like this. So I was trying to do something similar in Chicago with the three correct fighters. Right. Uh, Tristan just found a way to do it better. Uh, so I, I really like it. Um, you know, harpoons and, and triggering Justero's ability. Mm -hmm. Um, because of the because of the bombs, which he has not used a single bomb yet, surprisingly. Uh, but he's still got him there. He's still still an extra tool. We'll go ahead and take a look at Justero's card because there's some questions. About Once per round, after an enemy ship that is not defending against an attack suffers damage, so that's the splash. You may perform an attack against that ship. So this will be a Justero shot against mm -hmm. against the, the ghost. Yep, and that is a Justero bonus shot and then his regular shot right after speak up yes all right so dion wants me to break your earphones because he wants me to speak up <laughs> just talk you're talking quietly talk normal that is my normal voice i uh you 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 have a natural sexy voice i need to like tone it down and sound kind of, you know, <laughs> yeah especially with my sinuses all jacked up i sound real sexy right now oh very sexy all right, i can hardly contain myself uh, it looks like it's, it's going to be a range three oh, shot. so he gets two agility here. Nope, just one agility. Unobstructed. Range three unobstructed. And he's got a focus, so... Um, no spending on that one? <laughs> no. All right, and then here's just Sarah's actual shot. And that's a cock die. <laughs> well, he's saying if it's cock, yeah. if it's cock to cock, yeah. But they want to ask you, is it cock? Hey. Yeah. All right. So let's see what. Yep, that's the match. They're, they're massaging. They're massaging the box. Sorry. They're massaging the mat. Oh. Uh, he didn't use his focus. He didn't even spend the focus. He's saving it for defense. <laughs> that's interesting. I would actually probably go after the Kimojila on this one. He's just he's he's debating right now. Hmm. So oh, right, so, now, Eric. So somebody's wife just told us to get a room with our sexy voices. Well, we did have a room. <laughs> we did. Yeah, we even we, slept yeah. in the same bed. Yeah, there you go. We, you heard it here first. <laughs> the owner is a cuddler. <laughs> so, um. Let's see what we got here. Looks like... Well, it has to be range 3 because he was rolling at an evade die. Yep. And they measured it the other way around. So, mauling for 2? Well, yeah, because he's going to get... You know, if he lands them... Oof. I mean, that's 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 the right call. Because he clears Me. one stress here and then he gets the TLT as Russ. So, it's going to be a hit and a crit. Well, a shield and a crit, yeah. And let's see what. Uh, I I have no idea what it's at. Oh, double damage. Is it direct are we hit? Sure. Yep. Uh, I think that's what I heard from the table. <laughs> I 
Alright, so that's going to be another damage. So let's see. This can kill just arrow. He has two hole left. Oh. N not he has one if that was a double damage. But and it's evaded. Evaded. Oh, you're right, the double damage. I, didn't, I guess I didn't, I didn't take off two. Yeah, that one would have killed him, and with that. But you know what? With uh, He cleared both. He doesn't have any actions anymore, still. He still has damage central array. True, but so, you can guarantee your at least not getting a... Okay, so he's at six hull, right? Yep. A two... No. We're probably going to see a one turn out of Gistero. Yes, I mean, I'm trying to figure out how you can block. I still have my jump master hat on. <laughs> how the heck do I block that one turn? Uh, and the answer is, without a barrel roll, not very You cannot late. without the barrel roll. Good lord, why don't they... Uh, the, the ghosts need a barrel roll. <laughs> you know, I mean, if we're going to have a broken list, at least let's have a broken list that's a little fun, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so who's with me? Barrel roll on a ghost? No, oh my god, no. No? no. EPT? No. Expert handling? No. No? Nope. Uh, no, thank you. I'd go for it. I'd fly that. Of course you would. So, um, yeah, I mean, so is that, that actually really hurts him. Because if he was able to get just arrow here, uh, Nim is one TLT away from dead. Yep. And um, Tarani is two rounds away from dead. So... So, that really, really hurt him. Well, not, not being able to put that that damage in. Not only that, um, what Tristan here, I think he has to do. He has to try to get two to three arcs on the on uh, on mm -hmm. the ghost at once. I'm I'm not. I won't be surprised if he tries to bring in the ghost here. Another ghost, uh, Nim, fast, two turn or three bank, probably mm -hmm. two turn to start cut, cutting off the corner. Yeah, and you know, the, and that's the crazy thing about this list. Uh, almost nothing has gone well for Eric this round. I mean, other than <laughs> than um, just Arrow being out of position for a few several turns. turns. Yeah, um, it's been so many things that benefit Tristan, and yet, you know, we're we're talking about. The ghost can yeah he still has, he off. still I mean, has a win just, condition yep. yeah it shows you like this list is uh, this ghost in general just by itself is so powerful and then you give it give it an additional all the tools uh, extra shots yep yeah all right so dials are set let's see what these gentlemen do mm -hmm. the suspense what are we waiting for I don't know they're they're talking through something <laughs> Eric is uh, is on first he doesn't have his boost anymore his PS11 boost so it has to, he has to make the right choice from the beginning and I, the onus I is on assume him I would assume you have to take a three soft to the right is my assumption here right because anything other than a, a four f Or the other question is, do you do a 5K turn here? A 5K with turn. With just arrow? No, with the ghost. Do a 5K because that will, they that may result in just arrow not having an arc. Uh, yeah, that could make a difference too. Yeah, I think a 5K would probably. Well, he did. He just changed his dial from what he had before, so. We'll see what it is now. Oh, I'm s so four forward. The the and one the would. one hard would definitely get Trist uh, Tristan. Yeah, Tristan some damage with Justero. Yeah. He clears the damage sensor array finally. So this is his chance. Uh, this is Tristan's chance to do some damage. Yeah, he's gonna do the hard. He did the he oh, did the K turn. That was um, I guess he was anticipating the the five K. Yep. Uh, this actually works out really well for Eric. Yes, it does. Um, because no no 
He's rolling two evades plus a. Um, He's got a rock. No focus token for Justero. Yep. Now the question, the 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 part that I do question here, is why didn't Tristan, knowing ahead of time what um, what was happening, uh huh, pop the the cybernetics, cybernetics so he can have a focus and just guarantee that damage damage being pushed through. Um. Uh, I mean, I maybe he's thinking two turns ahead. Maybe he's hoping. That it's, ooh, and that that blocks just arrow. So maybe he's just thinking defensively with just arrow. He's not even thinking about shots, which I don't think is the right, well, the right Teal choice. He's gonna die. Well, yeah, but he yeah. so he should he should try to be offensive before he dies exactly. rather than so being defensive. Pop, pop the cybernetic. Yeah, at one hole, you but, know, it's like when you have a Saj with one hole, just pop everything. Right. I just think, I think it's, I don't know, it, it doesn't seem like it's, it, it makes sense to be like, all right, I'm going to most likely not do any damage. Yeah. And I'll probably die. Hopefully I evade four TLTs with, you know, with three dice, with no mods. It just it doesn't, doesn't seem and realistic. He went with a target lock instead of a focus. And that he's just rolling those natural grits. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Sensor jammer. Sensor Jammer doesn't do anything there. So that's the new double damage. Direct hit, console fire. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, so, I mean, what? Range three through a rock coming from Justero. So that's what it. That's how you beat the ghost. Just roll crits. Just roll, yeah. Yeah, roll crits helps. Yeah, here you go. More crits. And roll them. Jammer for no damage. Uh, you see, that's not how you beat the ghost. Yeah. He didn't roll crits. <laughs> that's the strategy, guys. Okay, you heard it here first. Gold Squadron Podcast. <laughs> roll crits. Beat the ghost. Um, so here comes the TLTs. He's debating them all. There it is, Ezra. So he's got to roll he, three nannies, nope. and there's zero nannies, so he's dead. Well, he's not dead yet. Oh, yeah, yes, he took one damage. Yep. Now the... Uh, and the end the round into Tarani. That's one. So this is what's where it became really difficult, because now it's going to take him this, plus an additional... It's going to take him... This doesn't do a whole lot. Right. Because it only does... The shields. Um, so what you're doing here is you're going four forward, right? You're I don't know. This is actually an interesting one. So you want to be able to keep the rear arc because you're not going to kill the Kimajila. No, he has, he has six hull. Oh, he's got three hull left on on Lothal because of that double damage. Yep, he wants to. You gotta, pop, yeah. I think at this point you move forward. You drop Ezra. You mean uh, Zeb? Yeah, the you shuttle. Drop, you 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 move forward three or four. You pop Zeb, and you hope that um, that you put some serious damage on. On the Kimojila, and that the Kimojila gets. Now here's here's a question: Console fire. Yep. Do you use it, or do you say I'm gonna guarantee I'm out of arc? And if you guarantee the auto, oh man, because you, then it's a fifty-fifty shot. Yeah. No, actually, it's less. It's a three-eighth of a shot because it doesn't trigger. Does it trigger on on critical? Uh, console fire. Yeah. I think it's on hits only. I know that uh, major explosions is on hits only. It's on hits only. Okay, so yeah, so it's actually less than a fifty percent sh chance of taking damage. If you do this maneuver and you don't boost, you're at one hundred percent chance of taking damage. <laughs> right. So because uh, he's got a target lock on him, he will focus. Well, he probably honestly is going to um, one bank reload here and get the missile back. Uh, that makes sense. Stay out of range. Though that might be a little bit greedy. 
Um, well, eh, yeah. I mean, he's debating whether to launch a shuttle. Most likely, um, he also has an evade action and the that he can has take. A four forward, right? It does. Yeah. The, question mark. Yep. Yeah, I, I believe it does, and it's not red like the uh, other one, and it has a barrel roll. So you can presumably launch the shuttle four forward, barrel roll to the right, and uh, give the Kimajila a second. Um, so he's make. popping. He's popping the shuttle, three bank. Three bank instead of four forward. Well, that's. I mean, that's strong too. He he's getting the arc in a position to make sure he gets a shot. Yep. And at this point. Do you turn the console fire? That's 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 going to be interesting. Or do you boost? And I, I would I would boost. Or I, I, I or I would actually target lock with. Oh, or if you target lock. Because I'm, I'm what I'm thinking right now is uh -huh. I just want to take Tristan's focus away from the ghost. I want to I want to make. Tristan forget that the ghost even exists. Right. What was his action with the... Oh, he flipped the... Three turn. That's Snapshot. A, oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry. That's an aggressive move there from Tarani. He's going to be taking a range one shot. Yeah. From... Uh, and But but he will kill the ghost in this round. Yeah, Target lock focus. He has to focus. I mean... He's gonna kill the ghost. There's, there's very little. I mean, he would have to get really unlucky to not kill the ghost. The ghost still gets to die. Shuttle it's range does not three. Have a target lock action. Well, thank you. Yes, it's that very, it's, it's very important to remember, Adam. <laughs> yes, you can tell how often I fly, uh, the shuttle. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, for some reason. They didn't let me take a evade action with the jump masters. <laughs> Trolling. All right, so I'm really surprised to see this barrel roll action I'm not. here. I'm not. He's guaranteeing. He's got a target lock, so he. Oh wait. No, he's a, right. there's sensor jammer. I mean, he can shoot. He's only gonna get two in. Yep. But he's not gonna get shot by Ezra. And I think he's still an arc. Zeb. Oh, I, yeah. I think he's still oh, an arc. Oh my god, what a tough. Oh, that is tough. At this point, the question is, just melt. <laughs> Sorry. We're waiting for Nims. Yeah, we got, uh, uh, we got table audio here. And, yeah. And, and just, they're, they're being silly. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't like, the, he can kill Z uh, Zeb. And I think he's being way too cagey with Nim. He needs to get that gun in there. I know he has two hold, but if you get him in there, you know, at the same time, then it's fine. You can yeah. do multiple shots. I mean, he he's had several opportunities to close this game out. Um, you know the um, the focus. Yep. You know from cybernetics. Yep. Uh, focus token here. Just you know what? Just guarantee the kill on the ghost. You worry about you know you can dance around. Uh, Zeb a little bit later. You got barrel roll with both of your ships. You you'll you'll be fine. Just make sure that that ghost doesn't shoot again. By not taking the focus action, you're ba basically unless you roll criticals, three crits. You're what? You're essentially guaranteeing no. No kill here, uh, unless you get a, again a critical. Eric is holding. All right. So what? I don't know what you mean. He's by going that. at the ghost. And the thing is, he can't re-roll the, the he, jam. He can't re-roll the jam. Oh, there's a crit well, there. There's a crit. So, you have to. And that focus is looking pretty good right now, isn't it? Uh, it is. I mean, you would get the range one from the. From Zeb, but I would rather get range one from Zeb on a six hull yeah. chemo and no TLTs back at me. Yep. Oh. Yeah, it is range three. So 
Just going to spend the to uh, target lock on the blank dice. Uh, yes. And, um... All right, there okay. it is. Hit crit. So that's the question. Double damage or major explosion? So both of them are going through. So there's the hit. Weapons failure. Uh, it's not the end of the world. You know, he gets two dice. So he, you know. Um, so at the end of the... So they're working on the Kimo Jila's ability. Yep. So Zeb will have to either lose the focus or take a damage here. Mm -hmm. And at this point, it really depends if you have Ark or not, right? Right. If you have Ark, just say, you know what? I'm going to put four dice into you, and I don't care. I'll take the one damage. Yep. Uh, and I'll, a good worry trade. About, I'll, I'll worry about the other dude later. It's still an uphill climb. Yep, he's taking the damage, keeping keeping the focus. Um, Cry Garbian, no, I could not do a mind games in the final. I don't do it for competitive events. It's it's uh, there's too many variables uh, in in an actual competitive event to do that. So yeah, not only that, the the main I want them to focus on playing. Yeah, I mean, it, the the last thing you want to do is is um. Oh. So did he choose to take the one damage on he Zeb? He took the he damage, did. but without knowing if he has arc or not. It's close. So they called the judge. Yeah, and there's the judge. Um, yeah, Cosmic Jello, thank you for subscribing two months in a row. Thank you so much. I love all that Jello. And it looks like it might be clipping the plastic. And it looks like it's. Look, it's there. That's in. Yep, that is in. So the let's see if the focus damage. So let's see what uh, transpires. So this plus the TLTs could kill Justero. Yeah. Uh, barely. Yeah. I see a hit and a crit, and oh, okay. Hit, hit, crit. So well, that, there's a crit in there. That's bad. Ooh. Double, Double damage. damage. All right. So the TLT. Yeah, the TLT. TLT here, could kill him. Could kill him. I mean, he's only weapons failure. Yeah. Matters now. Uh, but at this point, you know, just just go just go all out. You roll two blanks. Yep. You got to reroll both. Weapons failure. Wait, that's hold that's on. That's a big failure. one. Yeah, that's a big one. Stop. Weapons failure. Weapons failure. Weapons failure. Yes. Yeah, so we went to go tell them, uh, and that's because they asked us. They asked us not, you know. You're paying these guys? It's funny because they got three judges there. It's like, are you paying these guys? Okay, that's still one damage. So the first one rolled two, and the second one, you got as you got them all it, and it's still dead. Okay, so uh, it worked out. But, but but it worked out without <laughs> <laughs> Eric trying to cheat on stream. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> well, the judges are missing these calls, uh, but you know, it's been a long day and they've, it has they've, been. they've been um yeah. So now this is a a, a So he, here's a, here's a couple things in hindsight, right? Yeah. If he wouldn't have done the barrel roll, he would have focused. Just, just focus and focused. Take the shot. Take he would have he would have yeah. killed the ghost. And he would have just ate everything that he ate, but right. he would have lived on one, and then he can K-turn right. and, and really box Zeb in with a, you know, box Zeb in with shots from both at the same time. Yep. And you can target lock. Yeah, I mean, that was um, definitely a huge, huge swing in Eric's favor. Um, so, it's, uh, yeah, we'll see. I, I, at two hall, um, I mean you. I don't know. I mean, really, what what you're hoping here is you do. Wait, has he flipped the console fire? Yeah, he did. He took. He did that. That's yeah. why he had no action. There. Right. That's why he had no action. Okay, let's go yeah, ahead. And that's get rid why of that. he didn't have an evade, or else he would have taken an evade. 
The, so he, now he's just got the uh, the one that he's had for a while, yep. plus the weapons failure. So here, the fact that Tristan kept Nim out of the fight for such a long time is also going to come back and bite him because in this, he could have possibly dug in a little bit extra damage onto Nim, onto uh, Zeb with Nim and that and maybe true. have been able to kill him this turn, yeah, but now he has three holes. Not now. only that, um, the stream just reminded everyone, which we'll see if he, he remembers now. He still got those two thermals. Oh, he sure he, does. He needs to use them at some point. You're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, yeah, so being a good, yeah, it's a good, good, uh, Reminder here from the stream. Um, yeah, it's it's an uphill climb. So here's the question. So he's going to have to do too hard, right? That, that, there's really nothing else he can do here. Right. So he's going to do it too hard. The question is, do you go one soft... Do you launch the thermal? Yes. Guaranteed the one damage here. Go one soft to the left. Target lock. Try to get the two damage in on Zeb. While being out of range of the TLTs of the ghost, and then set yourself up for one final salvo with the ghost. Yeah, you wanna you wanna make sure you take out one and then the other for sure. Yeah, and right here with the barrel roll, he's trying to barrel roll away from the thermal. Yep, you know that that makes sense. But but still, keep your ghost. I mean, keep your uh, nim away from double shots unless he boosts here then that's virtually impossible at that point yeah that, yeah which that, that's the right move you boost it that is the right move at this point the only way to if nim went straight then he's dead that's pretty much what's going to happen here yeah because he can't shoot both yep Uh, yeah, that's not in range. Yeah, it's pointless, unfortunately. Um, oh, okay. So, yeah, so this, this game was definitely winnable for both players. Uh, it looks, um, and that is the right call, uh, like we said. Uh, maybe a barrel... I don't know. understand why he launched the bomb. I guess it's going to end up being range 3. Well, he's... Uh, yeah. So the question is... He just wasted a bomb. Like, I don't... I'm really confused. I I, th I think he's just, like, pulling all, all the tricks. At this point, do you just target lock Zeb and... Um Oh, you know what that does do? With what the second half of, of Nim's ability says, when it goes through a bomb, it gives you an evade, right? No, but that bomb will disappear. Oh, you're right. Never mind. Right at the start of combat. Sad face. Never mind. Yeah. I got so excited for a second. I was like, yeah, wait, yeah, next level evade. play. No, no, not. I mean, it would it would work something like on just Justero or something. Right. Because it's, be, you know, if, if it happens during excavation. And I don't know. Not sure what we're waiting for here. Waiting for an action? Yeah, I think he's. And that rock looks like it's might be getting in the way of focus. Oh no! Uh, uh, yeah, you got a target lock here. No, you don't have to target lock. You, you guys. Yeah, he he's stream, out of harpoon. He's he he's might. he's out of harpoon. So yeah. So let's see. Um, he's got to do three damage. It's tough. Oh, um, Ooh, yeah, it's temptation. Oh, temptation. No, no temptation. You got to do it. There is zero question about it. You have to kill Zeb. Does Zeb have... He doesn't have any tokens. He do it. He doesn't have any tokens. Do it. Spend it. Spend it. There is spend zero it. reason not to spend it. Zero. You kill Tristan, Zeb. Tristan, spend it. Don't What think, are you don't doing? Think about it. Spend that. Spend it. <laughs> spend the darn token. That you have a possibility. You have a two-hole ship. Better Come to on. Not get shot than to try to hope you get a one focus result. Right. On an on a evade. single die. On a single die. Spend that. He's leaving oh, it he's at leaving two. At two. Oh, oh yeah yeah. No no no. <sighs> uh, I mean he's he takes he's, one. He only took a shield. Um, yes, he rolled an evade and he would have lived on one hull, but still, it's right. not. 
Oh, and he's he's got, in. All right, oh, that's God. the game. And you, now you got to roll with your primaries. Primary is three on two, or the two TLTs. So here comes the TLTs. Uh, Zeb one. I mean, Maul one. So there you go. Needs two Maddie's paints. Two paints. Nope. One paint. Nothing. So. All right. Looks like that was the final hole. Yep. All right. Well, congratulations to our regional winner, Eric Zhang. With, uh, yep. <laughs> with, with, yep. Let's with, say, yep. <laughs> no, but he flew it well. He he made good choices. He did. Uh, yeah, he, he flew it well. He made good choices. Uh, he rolled well. Oh, did he still roll uh, too many dice on the weapons failure? No, he only rolled two. He rolled two? Okay. <laughs> no, he rolled two. He, he rolled two. Okay. He got a hit good. blank and then we rolled into a, a focus. Um, so, yeah, I mean, take take nothing away from the people who are winning these uh, with the Fen Lothals, right? Oh, yeah, because I mean, they, they still, they still have to play. And they have to play better than the other players playing right. the Fen Lothals. So, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely take skill to be better at that list than the other players that are running that list. Absolutely. So, um, the concern comes when the percentage of players bringing it Goes up. Goes yeah. up. Then the variety of games that you had. Now, even though the Fan Lotho won this one, uh huh. I, I think just over the course of the last few months, and with over a hundred players, we probably right. had the largest variety of of lists. We had seven Rebel. Yep. Three Scum. Yep. And six Imperial in the top sixteen. Which is um, a much broader variety than what we've been seeing at some of the other regionals. So, I, I, on that aspect, I think it, it was it more was diverse in that aspect. Very You're diverse. Right. So, we'll break this down more tomorrow when we record our podcast. Yeah. But uh, I want to thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you for everybody who clicked that Twitch Prime button. You guys are awesome. Uh, if you want to know how to do that, oh, look, we've got a couple other people who did it. We got uh, Slaxer666 and Match It6 for three months in a row. Woo woo, match at six. Uh, Magic G, not six. Um, we are going to be back for the, whatchamacallit, Adepticon. Um, but you won't see me and you won't see Marcel um, because we'll be playing. Where? Adepticon. Yes, unless. Uh, unless we scrub out on the second day. Yeah. Then you'll see us. But uh, we have uh, a couple of our other Gold Squadron members who are going to be uh, tagging in yeah. for day one so that yeah. we can compete in that one. You guys. Yep. Um, I honestly thought triple jumps were going to be horrible. And it worked out. They were not so horrible. So the question is, uh, let us know. Um, try it again at Adepticon in two weeks. Yeah. With the jumps or uh, jump, triple jumps or jump to double shadow casters. That's still kind of a <laughs> something that I'm debating. Uh, yeah, it was interesting, man. So I want to know from... Um, you know, we're, you know, either triple jumps, do it again, do it again. I don't know. Do it again. It's do fun. it. It was fun. It was I fun. know. I could see just, it. Just taking the bag of ions and going, ion Fuck. everyone. <laughs> I felt like the Oprah Winfrey of ions. <laughs> you, you get, get an ion. ion. <laughs> you get an ion. Yeah. That, that was awesome. That part is fun. Uh, well, for me, I'm, uh, some of the opponents probably didn't appreciate no dials for like six turns in a row, but it, it was kind of fun. Travis Travis just said, ditch the jumps, go Lothal Fen. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't like TLT. His his listen. big pride yeah. is he's never flown a list with TLT. Yeah. So I, I I will I will fly other variants of non <laughs> non fun stuff. But uh, yeah, TLT is 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 a is a big no no for me. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, um, we're gonna we're gonna shut this down. We'll talk to you later. Um, if you want to support our content, there's three ways you can do it. First, Twitch Prime is the easiest one. You have Amazon Prime. You mm -hmm. click the button. You give away free money. Two, Patreon.com/slash Gold Squadron. Become a patron. Get cool swag. And three, you can go to GoldSquadronPodcast.com. We have some stuff on sale there. All kinds of older old art cards that we gave away and stuff like that. And uh, we have current coupon code buy two get one to buy two get one and patrons if you're watching right now you get 50 percent off the entire order uh off cart so uh lots of things and stuff thank you very much we'll be back in two weeks i'm gonna take the weekend off we'll be back on wednesday though we'll be here on wednesday to do uh, mind games at the store not here but at our store in pastimes yeah so if you're in chicago or in chicago area 
We're about an hour, hour yeah. away from Milwaukee, so we're not too far from not Milwaukee, too. Not too bad. Too, so, yeah. All right. If you're in the area, stop by. We'll Love you guys. Yep. Good night.